Hey, it couldn't murder me with all those people in tuxedos there, you know? Autoglass, oh my god! It's a point of reference for everybody. Fred Wolf, you, you mentioned Norm Macdonald. He's in Dirty Work. I just saw that last week, actually. He's one of the three bums outside of the, uh, the Rich Guys thing. Him and another writer from uh, Super SNL. tall and thin guy. Super tall and thin. The guy who was next to him, who's been a writer at SNL for like... Uh, forever. I, I feel like he might have been there from the start. Might have been there in the 80s, was next to him, but I could never remember his name. Good old, what's his name? Good old Flaherty, Doherty. Tim Hurley? Tim Hurley. I think that might have been in Hurley. He wrote yeah. a lot. Yeah, he's but a, he used to be a. Um, Sandler guy, right? Him and. Yeah, he wrote a lot. He, Mama's Boy Lawn Trimming Service and stuff was okay. uh, Tim Hurley. He, he was a. Dist I think he was a district attorney. He quit to write. Is that right? Yeah. We're in with uh, Jay Moore today. He's in town today, tomorrow. Zanies, zanies.com to get your tickets, and uh, you can get them at the box office, too. You may uh, be familiar with his work in More Stories. That's his new podcast. Is that uh, hooked up in any way with Kevin Smith? Uh, I, Kevin Smith got me started. I was on like his record label, okay. Smodcast, Smod, yeah, okay. and then I left eventually just to form my own record label. So you're on your own now? Yeah, okay. Fake Mustache Studios. Okay. Fakemustache.com. Set up the premise of what more stories is for everybody. I sit in my garage and I talk to my friends about comedy. I talk to my priest about religion. I talk to, you know, band members about music. Or so you, you let the gamut kind of... Yeah, rush. you know... Horses run in a circle. Yeah. I like to just take the fence out of the infield and just see which way they run. Okay. Um, and then it, it's great when you start, you know, talking Rolling Stones with your priest, and then you and a comic are talking sports, and you really cross pollinate a lot. Yeah. Charlie Sheen just had on Jay. Le Charlie Sheen and I talked about baseball mostly. Yeah. And platoon. I, I had to just keep talking about. Platoon. Absolutely. And uh, that was a, that's a good one. If you're going to start more stories, start with the Charlie Sheen one. It's, it's really good because nobody ever asked the guy about acting. And I realized that was my way in. I could appeal to the ego a little bit. Okay. Because everybody wants the crazy, huh? Yeah, and I'm this like, point, this guy was in Platoon. The right. guy was in Wall Street. He's a great, he is a great actor. Yeah, yeah. And then what no one knows, really, is if you're a film actor, you can't go do a sitcom. It, it's like if you're a chef, you can't bake. And if you bake, you can't be. It's, there's, it's just there's a rhythm to each that you can't do. Charlie's like the only guy that pulls off. He's the best at both. You know what I mean? Like Platoon, Wall Street, Hot Shots, the big wacky comedies. Yeah. And then like goes on, you know what? Spin City, and does a, a show and forget Two and a Half Men. He was on Spin City for five years. Yeah. And then Two and a Half Men. Michael J. Fox. That's right. Yeah. So he's, he's he slid into that role, that Hot Shots role that Val Kilmer did back in the mid '80s when he kind of did that. that yeah. That he. Shit. Uh, yeah. And he, they did two of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was the guy sold a lot of tickets and he sold a lot of Tide. Now, where do we find? <laughs> yes, that's, that's a great way to put it. That's a really good way to put it. Where do we find more stories? Uh, iTunes. iTunes, Stitcher. People. It's interesting. People will email me on jmore.com and be like, "I don't do iTunes, man." <laughs> I'm like, "What? Wait, a nice stance." Yeah. Like what? <laughs> really, it's iTunes. really taking it to the. I'm way. not doing Apple, bro. <laughs> I'm. I'm telling. I'm sorry, dude. I don't do Apple. Like, well, it's there. Yeah. Uh, Stitcher. Uh, I don't know anything about it, but I know you can get it on Stitcher. You go to jmore.com, you can listen to all... How about this? Go get my app. Okay. More Stories has an app. Perfect. Uh, M-O-H-R Stories. And if you really want to help out, if you do go to iTunes, leave a comment, and uh, just write Nashville in your comments so I know it came from here. And uh, I do read them, and it does help the rankings and stuff, and helps us with our, our sponsors. They, uh, I just... It, it's been... The most pleasant surprise in my professional career. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. One more plug for the book. Oh, those are old. Who cares? Okay. Come to Zanies tonight at 7 Love and it. Wednesday at 7. Love it. And keep listening to the buzz, <laughs> 1029. They don't want you to say point anymore. That's right. We ain't got no time for point. Big meeting at corporate. It's just 1029. <laughs> It's like he's been in. It's like you've been in a couple meetings, literally. I've been in a few. <laughs> Jay Moore tonight. Zanies.com for your tickets are at the box office. Thanks for popping in, sir. Thank you, brother. That was fun. You bet. Got some Nickelback on the way. Some Van Halen. Allison Chains. Avenged Sevenfold is next.